everybody, this is not a spring chicken today. You get to first look at our brand new expanded studio. Isn't this kind of fun? So now you get to watch me sit here and paint back and forth. <laughs> this is what happens. Okay, if I don't have to stand in one spot, I'm all over the place. Anyway, Blackberry launches new Q10, yes? Okay, so they're bringing apps to the Blackberry, and now you get your keyboard like you've been wanting. Yes, the CeeLo Green and Goody Mob. Meanwhile, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. I know, we're giving you a scene you typically don't see, and this see, is... Look at, I mean, look at this. <laughs> I mean, you know, look at, you get, look at this. Is... Mm -hmm. Besides that, you get a full view of old cam. Yeah. <laughs> it's our brand new, we're in our new place. We've been telling people, now we are in it. Mm hmm Which is why you get this whole new view, and so let's see if he takes advantage and paces back and well, forth. Well, she grumps it because I, I, she thinks that, I, okay, when I, when I work, I set my feet in cement, but I'll move from side to side because I don't, you know, it's just how I do it. But she says I move from side, I, I get up and move. No, I don't. I go like this, and I'll go like that. So. It's just that when you zoom in, any motion makes it We aren't zoomed in anymore because we don't need to zoom in. <laughs> Before we had to zoom in because of background problem. Not now. And what? Yeah. Yeah, now we've got more space, but it's all over for the Republicans. Well, they said the Republicans are basically, the House, Senate is going to cave in to, okay, the one thing, I love this, one of the guys said that if uh, the President of the United States went to the Republicans in the Senate and said, I need my ass kicks, kissed, how many of you are going to do it? About one third of the Republican senators who think that they can get Latin votes would run the kisses behind for him. Uh, the House isn't doing it. The House is basically uh, immigration reform is totally dead because the Senate, the Democrats are never going to go for uh, closing the border. It's not going to be done. They said, well, we're going to turn it over to Obama mm -hmm. and let Obama decide. Mm -hmm. That's not going to happen, folks. They're never going to turn it over to his people. They said, uh, and then, then you know the Democrats aren't going to do it because the Republican bill was to get it done in six months, then naturalize the people. Democrats want the people naturalized, then we will talk about it. Uh, so it, it, the House will never approve it. It's a dead deal. And everybody but the president seems to know it's dead. And they'll blame him because half the, okay, they said two-thirds of the country want border security. And he basically said, F you. I got... I got 20, 33% of the people in this nation will support me even if I go rob a bank. And they had me on camera and said that, he said, well, if I rob a bank, you know what they'll say? If I rob a bank and cut everyone down with a machine gun, they'll say no other president, Barack Obama, could have done it. And a nation's breadbasket, Latinos stuck in poverty. Because they're, they're not here, uh, okay, they're not, they're not, their children are getting the education, but not them. These are people that couldn't get good, couldn't, couldn't get any type of job in Mexico that fled to here. I mean, the United States government officials, the Office of Management and Control said, well, he said, we do have to understand at the very beginning, there's going to be a rise in unemployment and a dropping of salaries as the people that are being given naturalization will be taking the jobs from all the other people that are pay, getting paid more money and therefore force them onto the unemployment market. This yeah. year. They're getting paid more money, they're going to lose their jobs so that people can come in and get paid less money. You tell me how that helps the economy. Mm -hmm. And Republican IRS agent says Cincinnati began the Tea Party inquiries. No, they didn't. They already, okay, this comes from, okay, any, okay, the Democrats released a transcript without permission. And Isaac has basically blasted them about doing that because it's totally, they found one guy, Pitt, totally, that basically is on the verge of having his butt, well, they came to me and there was no, and we basically, this started at the bottom. You know, they just put their things in a file and at no time did he address the issue of all of the extra stuff that they were being asked, the Democrats were being asked. He said, they were just, we just went through the normal channels. There were no, there were, there were plenty of complaints, but there was nothing. But what you got to is officials in Cincinnati saying the orders come from above, and went, well, he's a Republican. Uh, and then they said, uh, then last night I heard, uh, would you mind telling us who you voted for? Well, they said, that's none of your damn business. Mm -hmm. So you know who the guy voted for. Mm -hmm. His boss, and uh, he, he, he voted for Obama. When they won't tell you, when he says, none of your damn business, that means they voted for Obama. Mm -hmm. If they'd have voted for Romney, they'd have said, I voted for Romney. That's right. 
And teacher fired over ex-husband's threatening and menacing behavior. Over her ex-husband's? Oh, I know. It's so just, what's the deal? Uh, okay, first of all, women are not supposed to be charged with threatening or menacing any ex-husband. So it works the other way around because they never But she was fired over her ex-husband's behavior. Oh, I know, oh, I know. But they don't fire you for that anyway because it has nothing to do with you. They're not, they never, they, they never cause you problems for that. It's if you have a current husband, then they can fire you not for an ex because, it, I mean, you have no control over what somebody that may have been uh, five or six husbands down the line. Mm-hmm. And Obamacare coverage may be unaffordable for low-wage workers. Yeah, it's, it's unaffordable. Okay, here it is that uh, Congress is being forced or looking bad to exempt themselves from Obamacare in order to keep their Cadillac plans. And this is basically hurting Obamacare because, well, they don't even want to, if the, the senators, congressmen are saying that we're going to have to either leave office or, or get the thing, or exempt ourselves from it because we cannot, we cannot give up the things we get. It's called, we're here. So um, it, it's a disaster, folks. And, uh, and, and the IRS is going to be in charge of it. And, oh, this morning. You got from the Mount on high. So we need to cut back on medications that are being given to people, especially seniors, because over medication is basically hurting them and it basically damages uh, the ability to pay the bills. So we're going to cut back. We're not going to, as much medic, okay, you got people that basically can't move without medication. They've got to have it cut back under Obamacare now. And House Committee approves tough enforcement for a focused immigration bill over Democratic demands. Oh yeah, the Democrats want no enforcement. They want no enforcement. Another 30 million people brought in a recognition of gay rights and gay marriages. And uh, they've got their list is never going, like they said, the Republicans are in the control of the Tea Party. And they're basically going to uh, hurt these people. And then I heard the guy said last night, oh, this is a good one. The Latinos basically went on to, uh, on to the uh, Attorney General of the State of Kansas's home and they protested right up at his front door, were demanding he come out and face them and that they're going to do this to him and that. And their attorney, uh, one of the people on Martin, that basically is campaigning for them, said, well, he deserved everything he got. And they, I do realize they may have got over rambunctious, but they were trying to make a point for other people to see and he said, I live out in the middle of a farm area. There are no homes around for like a quarter of a mile. There's 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 uh, cornfields all around me. They were working to an audience of one, which would have been me and my family, if they'd have known we weren't on vacation. But he said they brought all of the camera trucks out to make a statement against him on his property, which they uh, he said that he couldn't get the authorities to arrest these people. But they do have pictures of every one of them, and they do have pictures of the cars they came in and their license plates. And he said he is going to bring uh, federal charges for threatening an elected official. And he said, mm -hmm. well, but then he said, unfortunately, these people all flee back to Mexico and only come back when you need them for your convenience. Mm -hmm. The guy got really pissed off last night when they were talking about that about him. And Republican senators seek border compromise for immigration bill. The border compromise is is that if the president comes over there, bends over and says, "I want some of you to kiss my rear," that's that's a compromise. They're they're going to give the president everything he wants. Um, we're going to try to get another thing from Mark Twain. This is a good one. He said, "When you're in a boxing match and you have your opponent on the canvas, you kick him instead of letting him get up." Mm -hmm. They're letting Obama off the canvas because Obama supports uh, the NSA and the Republicans support the NSA. And CBO, about 8 million would gain legal status under the Senate immigration bill. No, um, I think it's like 35 million. Oh. CBO basically, uh, uh, okay, they, they said if the CEO ever got a figure right, it would be amazing. They always underestimate every disaster. They, make, they get a history. Well, unemployment's never going to get above 7.9 percent. It goes to 11. Well, uh, you know, we're they're at wages are not going to go below. Uh, we're going to make this kind. Of, we're going to bring in this much revenue. Uh, they said the CBO has never got anything right, folks. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, I, I, this one. Okay, that uh, today when you put something off for tomorrow, 
it, it is no longer considered to be a, a goof, it's just standard operating practice.